There's a hidden gem of a spot near the Goldstream River with sprawling scenery and friendly farm animals, opposed to unfriendly ones. During the week, it's a learning community for children and teens. But next Saturday, Blossoming at the Farm will be opening its doors to the public for an important fundraiser. Here's Tess. Surrounded by animals and the beauty of nature near Goldstream, blossoming at the farm isn't your typical classroom. I love being on the land so much and the animals and definitely the people. The people are a big thing. I really love the community. Just the people here, they make you feel so safe and special and they really listen to you. This is a neurodiverse learning community for children aged 6 to 17 who are looking for an alternative way of education. I think it's really important because not all of our kiddos do well in, in the same system. Like we need to be able to like have diverse experiences because we're all diverse people. So our brains work differently and our bodies work differently and so we need more than one way to learn. Do you guys know what leaks are used for? Beyond the usual subjects, these kids are learning important lessons about growing their own food and taking care of the land. What do you love about coming here? The animals and my friends. Helping out with the animals and learning empathy and compassion along the way is also an important part of the curriculum. We um, muck the horses' stalls. We uh, also um, get to feed the chickens and make mash for the horses and stuff and all that kind of stuff and make hay bags for the goats. The animals, they're our co-teachers. They are our co-regulators. They are what actually helps all of us, including myself and my staff, and our kids bring their best selves to, to the world, to each other. This nonprofit was started seven years ago at Mary's Farm Sanctuary and has other programs, including a teen pod, forest school, and monthly social nights. <laughs> Disc golf on the weekends helps bring in money, but the school wouldn't be possible without donations. Everyone can access our services, whether they have the financial means to or not, which means that a large percentage of our kiddos that are here are unfunded. And so in order to make our budget work, we do a big fundraiser every year. This year's fundraiser is from 10 to 3 on Saturday, May 25th, and everyone is welcome. The farm is such a magical place, but people can't access it freely because of the nature of our work. So that Saturday fundraiser allows the entire community to come and experience the land, the animals, the people, the disc golf, the chickens. As for the students, they can't say enough about this unique learning environment and how it's helped them. It's a lot more flexible. Uh, I don't like sitting still at all, most of the time. Um, so being able to like, like tell them if I need a break and I can just like go have a body break and go run around for a bit. The difference between being here in the classroom is so much freedom and so much um, lovely um, people here, people who actually like care about you. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.